Hello everyone and welcome to Morgan's Crafting Corner. On Minecraft, I love using vines to heighten the look of my builds, but man, those vines can grow really wild and honestly a bit too wild. However, I have good news. I know of an easy fix for you if you like to use vines as decoration blocks like I do. So honestly, I wish I knew this trick ages ago. It would have made my builds look way better and help me keep from constantly cleaning up those vines because I was way too stubborn and liked them way too much to get rid of them. So anyway, you know what? Let's just go ahead and jump right into Minecraft so I can show you. All right, everybody. So here I am in my community server for Minecraft. This is actually for my streaming community. This is a great server. Actually, right over here behind me, ooh, right up there is KP's build she's currently working on. It's starting to look great. We'll have to show you one day. But... Um, anyway, I'm going to show you stuff. I have some vines that I've started behind me. You can see that they're starting to grow. But then over here, I have vines down there that are already super crazy long. So, obviously the grow time for vines he varies and it's a bit of a pain sitting here waiting. So that's why I already have some started. But all you need is some vines, just like this. A string. And then dirt, maybe. Depending on if you need help to like be able to place the string. Real quick, with... Let me go ahead and show you what I have going for you. So this is my wonderful build that a good friend and viewer of mine made. So I placed these and you can see I may not want all of this um, vines to cover all these. Like if I have three here, I may not want all three of them hanging so low that it would cover my stuff. So over here, I also did the same thing. Again, they grow really slow, which is kind of nice, but um, when given enough time to grow, like, I also just recently placed these. We have a couple that are starting to grow. But I placed these a while ago. And these boys are huge. They're so long. Now, there's one way to make them not grow as far. Like, these one, a lot of them come down to the ground. And I just, realistically, I don't want all of them coming down to the ground. So, let's say we have this one, right? Let's say we want it to come down to here. We don't want it to go past here. I have a string in hand. And I'm going to place a string. And sure, technically you can see the string and it's something that you could just come and break, but typically it's not too much of a nuisance where you really notice it. And that actually keeps it from growing past this because there's a block in its way. You can see where you, you can see the little square hit boxes. That keeps the vines growing any further. So over here, like I really like this trio look that's going on and I really want it to kind of have a little bit more depth and it stagger a little bit. So I really want to use at this point because I need to be able to have blocks to help me place it. Let's say I want this one to be shorter, right about here. So that automatically breaks it. So I actually didn't need this this time, but I placed that there. This one is cannot grow past that string. And then over here though, this is where I really needed the, uh, the dirt. So, bam, that broke it. Um, and then let's say I don't want it to go past here. So if I break these, it's fine. Like I said, you will technically be able to see the string, but for the most part, you can't really... It's really so thin and unnoticeable that it doesn't bother you. But I don't think that's too bad. And then let's say over here, for example, too, because we have the same thing going on about right here. Um, let's have... right here happen. So I want this one here to be a little bit shorter. I don't want it to go past this height. I just want it to be a short little guy. I'm going to have behind here, just like that, break this one, place the string, break that, and now it won't grow past that length. So this is just a nice little trick that we can do that us Minecrafters can use See, using this, let's have it not go past this length. I'm supposed to do that one. There you go. So now 
it will not go past that length. And there you go. That is how you keep your vines from growing any further. All right, everybody. So you just saw how we can keep vines from growing past a certain length. That way they don't grow too wild. But here's another really fun trick. Not everybody likes the look of torches or at least cluttering torches all over your build. I'm more of a lantern person. And now that uh, 1.18 has candles, I think it's actually 1.17 that had them. But now that we have candles, um, it luckily helps me get away from using too many torches. But they're the easy thing to make right off the bat. There's some really smart, intuitive ways, however, to hide the fact that you are even using torches and still get that light. So let me show you. Let's head over to Minecraft. All right, so here I am in a dark little cave that I just kind of dug out real quick for us on Minecraft. I am in creative, but I want to show you how to place torches and get this light as if I wanted like carpet all over or something, because this is what you need. You need torches, and whatever carpet that you would like. So let's say I want to have in this corner just a nice look of carpet, right? Not there. Now it's really dark, I need to light it up. So if I break this carpet, break a hole, put a torch, oh, so much better, I can see, right? But man, now I want to cover that. Make sure you're over top of the torch and you can place that. It doesn't give you the burning effect anymore, but it's hidden lighting. Like, look at that. And it doesn't change how the light at all. It stays the same brightness. So one thing now we have moss carpet. So if you're doing somewhere that's really nature-y, like let's say out here, it's pretty dark out here, right? Now moss carpet isn't perfect compared in color to this green grass, but let's say we wanted right here, we wanted this, but let's hide it. And you can do that. And this also allows us to do a lot of like really fun texturing too in different levels of ground. I could do a green carpet. Obviously with my texture pack, it doesn't look the best. Um, the moss carpet definitely looks the best out of them, but you could end up texturing an entire area just like this and making it look hyper, more hyper realistic, which is something I love to do. I love this little trick. I found this by watching just a street Minecraft streamer and I'm like, that is ingenious. How did I never think of it? So I hope this is something you can use in your builds where you can hide your lighting and keep it looking great. All right, and that is it for Morgan's Crafting Corner this week. Make sure you keep an eye out for more Minecraft tips and tricks coming soon.